Spider-Man Far From Home is officially out in theaters and there is a lot to break down including the final battle with Spider-Man and Mysterio and the mid and post credit scene so let's get right into it. And clearly there will be some spoilers in this video for Spider-Man Far From Home so if you have not seen the movie you may want to click away now. Also, if you would like a chance to win a Captain America shield, an Iron Man helmet, an Infinity Gauntlet, or another Marvel Legends item, be sure to subscribe to my channel. To enter my giveaway, I'll be picking three winners at 450,000 subscribers. The final battle takes place in London on the Tower Bridge. Mysterio is creating the illusion that all of the elementals have combined and are attacking London. He creates this illusion with a combination of his own technology and drones by Stark Industry which he controls using Edith which he got from Peter Parker who got it from Tony Stark. Mysterio's plan is to make it seem like he defeated this monster elemental therefore making him the greatest hero of all time. But of course here comes Spider-Man to the rescue jumping right out of Tony Stark's plane that Happy Hogan is flying, equipped with his new suit that he just built. Peter begins to destroy the drones, which eventually leads to the illusion disappearing. Spider-Man then goes to fight Mysterio one-on-one -on -one, and Mysterio tries to trap him in another illusion. But Spider-Man uses his Spidey senses, or what they call in the movie his Peter Tingle, to defeat the drones that were protecting Mysterio. Mysterio uses an illusion to make it seem like he has been hit by gunfire from one of the drones and tries to sneak up from behind on Peter and shoot him point blank in the head. But luckily for Spider-Man, his Peter tingle kicked in and he was able to sense what was happening and defended himself. Peter then takes control back over Edith and stops all of the drones from attacking the city and his friends. Mysterio, now severely injured and about to die, says with his final breath, the people will believe what they want to believe. This leads us into the mid credit scene. The mid credit scene starts with Spider-Man and MJ swinging through the city. MJ, of course, is still terrified. They land and MJ says, I'm never doing that again. Peter says, I should probably get out of here, and as he leaves, a news reporter comes on a giant screen in downtown New York. The reporter says that we have revelation on last week's attack in London. It was provided by an anonymous source, but shows Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio, moments before his death. They then show a video that has been edited to make it seem like Spider-Man is the bad guy. Mysterio says that he managed to send the elementals back through the dimensional rift, but Spider-Man attacked him for no reason using an army of Stark Tech drones. The news reporter then says that this video was released earlier on in the day by the dailybugle.net. The Daily Bugle then pops up on the screen and we see the one and only J. Jonah Jameson played by the one and only J.K. Simmons from the very first Spider-Man films. He gets on the screen saying that Mysterio will go down as one of the greatest heroes ever in history. But then he says that's not all and then it cuts to the video of Quentin Beck saying that Spider-Man's true identity is Peter Parker and then it shows a picture of him exposing the fact that Peter is Spider-Man to the whole entire world. It ends with Peter saying, what the, and then it cuts, just like it did with Aunt May in Spider-Man Homecoming. And that's the end of the first mid credit scene. One thing to really note here is that Quentin didn't just throw Spider-Man under the bus, he made sure to mention Stark Industries. We learned throughout the film that he used to work for Tony Stark and he hates him. He hates him and he hates Stark Industries, which is why he threw that name out there so the world would turn not only against Peter Parker and Spider-Man, but against Stark Industries as well. So the future just got really rough for Spider-Man and Stark Industries. The post credit scene shows Nick Fury and Maria Hill driving in a car, but as it turns out, it's actually not Nick Fury and Maria Hill, it's Talos and his wife. As it turns out, throughout the whole entire movie in Spider-Man Far From Home, Nick Fury and Maria Hill were Talos and his wife the whole entire time. Talos' wife says, you have to tell him, meaning everything that just happened, Talos has to call Nick Fury and tell him what happened. Talos says, it was fine, the little boy handled it, we helped a little bit, and says, how was I supposed to know that the whole thing was fake? After his wife persists again that he should call Nick Fury, he ends up calling him. He said that everything kind of fell apart and people keep asking where the Avengers are and I don't know what to say to that. Nick Fury seemingly on a beach then hangs up on him. He then gets up and it shows that the beach is actually a hologram and he is on a scroll ship of some sort. Now when he gets off the phone he talks to everybody like he's in charge which makes me believe that he could be at the peak orbital headquarters of S.W.O.R.D. S.W.O.R.D stands for Sentient World Observation and Response Department. So this post credit scene which may not seem Seem like a lot could be the introduction of sword into the MCU. So be sure to comment with what you thought about Spider-Man Far From Home, the mid and post credit scenes. Also be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to enter my Marvel Legends items giveaway and so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. 
As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.